A family from the village of Guinea Grass is in dire need of your assistance tonight in order to give their 11-year-old son an opportunity to survive. Jadiel Kamara was recently diagnosed with pancipotomia, a condition in which there is a lower than normal number of red and white blood cells and platelets in the blood. The treatment for the disease is costly and today his grandmother is pleading to the public for financial assistance. Here is that story. This is the photo of a very energetic, vibrant and excellent 11-year-old football player. His name is Jadiel Kamara and he is in Standard 5. Today, though, Jadiel is not in school. In fact, he has been admitted since yesterday at a hospital in neighboring Cheromol, Mexico. He is there in the company of his mother, Daisy Jimenez, receiving treatment after he was recently diagnosed with pancytopenia, a condition in which there is a lower than normal number of red and white blood cells and platelets in the blood. The disease occurs when there is a problem with the blood-forming stem cells in the bone marrow. This morning, Jadiel's grandmother sat with us and cried as she fondly remembered her grandson playing in her backyard. Él es buen niño, le gusta el fútbol, le gusta estar jugando, y, y de repente él cayó enfermo, venía acá, y ellos se me dice, ponen a jugar bola, y no, no quiere jugar. Y le digo, hijo, ¿por qué tú no quieres jugar? ¿Qué tienes? That is the moment when Jimenez decided to approach her grandson. She knew that something was not right and that Jadiel must seek medical attention. Me dice, abuela, sí, abuela, me dice, yo me siento mal, me dice, cuando yo voy a la escuela, me dice, tengo un, me da vuelta mi cabeza, dice, Y me siento como cansado, me dice. Yo no sé qué es lo que yo tengo, dice. Sí, hijo, porque yo te veo muy pálido, le digo. Yo no sé qué es lo que tú tienes, le digo, pero voy a hablar con tu papá y voy a hablar con tu mamá, le digo. Les voy a decir a ellos que te llamen a ver doctor, le digo. Dicen veces que cuando va a la escuela se tiene que parar en una sombrita para que descansen y de ahí se van. Así me dice él. Le digo, viste, hijo, le digo. Pero espérate, le digo, no vengan tu papá del trabajo, voy a ir a hablar con él, le digo, y le voy a explicar. Que te lleven mejor a ver doctor, le digo. Y así estuve con él hasta que yo fui allá y entonces yo le dije a mi hermano, ¿sabes qué hijo? Le digo, llévame al niño a ver doctor porque dice que se siente mal. Y de ahí él agarró y me dice, abuela, me dice, me dice mi hermano, pues, Lo vamos a ver, vamos a luchar y llevarlo. Voy a, a trabajar y voy a prestar dinero y le voy a traer dinero a mi esposa que lo lleve. Bueno, le digo. Yo solo es lo que yo quiero, le digo, porque yo voy a este niño muy pálido, le digo. Y ese no es su color de él, le digo. Y cuando viene acá, se pone a jugar bola con las chamacas, le digo. Y así, de ahí agarró él y, pues, gracias a Dios que prestó dinero y lo llevaron. Ahí es donde él se fue a... Al hospital y del hospital lo llevaron hasta Chetomal, que el doctor dijo que está bien malo, él no puede poner manos sobre el niño. Y agarraron y lo llevaron al hospital. Y de ahí es lo que, ahí me, me, mi hija me dijo, ¿sabe qué más? Yo voy hasta Chetomal a llevar al niño. No sé cuándo voy a venir porque el niño quiere un buenos doctores. Le digo, pues tú sabes, hija. Dios primero contigo y con el niño, le digo, ojalá que Diosito eche la bendición, que mi niño salga bien, le digo. Así le dije. Entonces me dice, ella sí, mami, dice, pues lo llevaron para allá y ahí es donde el doctor dijo que no sé qué enfermedades tiene. Como solo ella es mamá, ella entiende más, ¿no? Ella sabe más. After the visit to the doctor, Jadiel tests revealed he was suffering from pancytopenia. We ask a Dr. Elsie Constanza, a pediatrician and neonatologist at the Northern Medical Plaza to break down the illness for us. Pancytopenia is a condition um, where um, blood cells okay, are lower than normal. Okay, uh, when we talk about blood cells, the blood has three components, main, mainly three components of cells, uh, which is the red blood cells, 
okay, which if it's low would cause anemia, okay, a condition known as anemia. Um, leukopenia is the condition where the white blood cells uh, are low, okay, lower than normal. And uh, thrombocytopenia, okay, is where the platelets would be uh, lower than normal too. So in pancytopenia, we are talking about these three main cells that are lower than normal. But what are the symptoms and how is it treated? Taking into consideration these three uh, blood cells, you know, each, each one um, has their function. So that's where the clinical manifestation would come in, okay? So if the, if the child has anemia, for example, the child would um, manifest fatigue, okay? Would be uh, paler, okay? Uh, pale skin, okay? Um, a heart rate would be uh, higher than usual, okay, would be rapid heart rate, you know, because of the same anemia, all right. Um, the baby as well, if, if the baby has low uh, white blood cells, the white blood cells uh, uh, are, you know, are the ones responsible for fighting infections. So if it's lower than normal, of course, uh, then this baby will be more prone to infections, okay? So the baby will be constantly having uh, in infections, okay? Um, and of course, if there's thrombocytopenia, which means low platelet counts, okay? And uh, we have to take in consideration for platelets, they play a role in bleeding, in stopping bleeding, okay, in, in the body. So these are, uh, how would that manifest? Well, these uh, patients will have um, spontaneous bleeding, maybe spontaneous bleeding of gums, of nose, okay, uh, spontaneous bruises especially in other areas, you know, of the body, you know, not, um, that are um, not that, that prone to, to uh, accidents, to, you know, to traumas. Uh, so they would have spontaneous bruises uh, throughout the body. So um, those are, are, you know, the, the, like the main um, uh, signs and symptoms. Of course, there are others because they can also have fever, okay, continuous uh, uh, fever and of unknown origin, you know, of just fever and fever. Um, and um, they can even have in, in, in severe cases, okay, seizures. Uh, in severe cases, okay, these, these patients or these uh, people would have, you know, really um, very, very extremely low white blood cells, uh, extremely low platelets and, um, and red blood cells, okay. But low, we are talking about close to zero count in their in their blood and of course these cases um, would manifest in in severe bleeding can cause internal bleeding external bleeding okay bleeding that can lead to to um, hypovolemic shock to shock okay and to death unfortunately in belize there is not much that can be done for this condition underlying cause for example, if it's a, a toxic or a medication, you know, it's just withdrawing those those um, medications, for example. And of course, um, treating the pancytopenia as such. Um, a, a, the treatment there um, uh, includes, for example, stem cell uh, transplant, bone marrow transplant, uh, medications that suppresses the um, immune system, okay, when the cause would be an autoimmune disorder, for example, okay, um, drugs that would stimulate the production of these um, um, st cells in, in the bone marrow, okay, and of course blood transfusions, but um, of course of these we can uh, work with the blood transfusions here in, in Belize, but um, but that's just like to mediate a little bit, you know, the symptoms. But um, it's it's it mainly the, the, the treatment is um, the transplant, the stem cell transplant or the bone marrow transplant, and both aren't done here in Belize as and yet. I imagine they would be very costly. Oh, definitely, yes, it, it is costly. Elmer Cornejo, CTV3 News. According to the family, the cost of their medical bills is mounting and it is expected to grow even more since Jadil will be needing to see a specialist.